Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on the live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So I'm currently looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. As you see, the price has initiated a bullish run over here, which I'm currently marking. And then it showed a hesitation over here, but the hesitation has some kind of a bearish character. And the price reached that specific area over here around one point, uh, around 109.51, 50, 52. The interesting thing is that when we position the Fibonacci levels on the previous trend, we see that the last two big bearish candles over here, not bearish candles, but the last two big lower candle wicks are absolutely conform to the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Furthermore, the second candle, the last candle, 5 minute candle on the chart, uh, closed with very big hesitation. The lower candle week touched the 61.8 psychological Fibonacci level and the price increased, uh, closing a candle above one third of its total size. And the current candle which is now emerging on the chart demonstrates kind of a bullish move so i believe that the price may be unable to break the 61.8 fibonacci level which will be sufficient reason to believe that a new price increase you know on its way Oh, so notice that I draw a bearish line now that goes through the bottoms of the price action. And this line is a proof. It, it connects the previous two bottoms on the chart and it goes straight through the current bottom we're looking at. Um... Meaning that this is probably a strong support area over here. And since I don't believe that this level will be broken, I will wait for the price to close a bullish candle after interacting with the 61.8 Fibonacci level. And I will enter a long trade on the assumption that the price is probably resuming the bullish move. Then I will trade at least until the price reaches the zero Fibonacci level, which is the end of the previous bullish trend. But in order to undertake this trade, I will first need to see a bullish bounce uh, from the 61.8 Fibonacci level, which will confirm my theory. Let's check the one minute chart. This is how the hesitation looks like on the one minute chart. We have some patterns over here. We have a dodgy, then we have another dodgy, then we have a bullish engulfing candle pattern, which is a, an obvious signal that the price is hesitating. And this is a small consolidation over here at the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Okay, now we had a an intense bullish candle, intense bullish impulse over here. That closed something like a that reached like a 10 minutes high. 10 minute high on the chart. Notice that the candle shoots up slightly. Now let's switch to the five minute chart again. To see how things look like over there. And we expect the candle to be closed uh, like any second. And when this happens, I will 
immediately buy half lot of the American dollar Japanese yen. Here it is. A bullish candle closed, uh, which creates the impression that the price is bouncing off the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Now I'm going to place a stop loss order. Uh, somewhere between the 100 and the 61.8 Fibonacci level. I think that's okay. And now I will put a take profit order at the 100% Fibonacci level. I mean at the 0% Fibonacci level. I apologize for the mistake. And since I like to put meaning in my levels, I believe that the best location for my take profit order is at 109.72. All right, now let's mark each of the levels on the chart. Take profit stays at 109.72. Stop loss goes at somewhere near at near uh, 109.46, and my entry point, which I'm gonna mark with white, is located at 109.72. Approximately. Notice that the price has already covered the, the spread because, I mean, I enter somewhere at 109.55, but the trade was opened at 109.58 due to the spread requirements of the broker I'm using. And the price reached the entry point, meaning that there is some kind of a bullish pressure on the chart, uh, which confirms my idea in this trade. So now I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back to you later to show you the results from this trade. Okay guys, I'm back one hour later to show you that the price shot up and has reached my take profit order at 109.72. Uh, the interesting thing over here is that the price got out of the 61.8 Fibonacci level for short period of time uh, however my stop loss order was well positioned at 109.46 and it fully uh, it totally handled the bearish price action in this case the broke uh, the break through the 61.8 Fibonacci level was just for like 15 minutes even when we switch to a bigger chart we will not see this breakout because the candle will be closed above the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Um, meaning that we cannot confirm that this is a breakout through the level. Uh, furthermore, when we stretch like the Fibonacci levels having in mind the candle wicks clear the trend. And we even get the 61.8 Fibonacci level closer. The only thing I will say in this trade is that uh, maybe it would have been better if I had placed my stop loss order at 109.45 and not 46 because 45 is like more of a psychological level because it ends it, it's like half uh, in the middle between 40 and 50. But uh, anyway, still the stop loss order remained untouched over here yeah it's a very small difference but still uh so the trade state and the price action five minutes ago like even less than five minutes ago like three minutes ago hit my take profit order like here at 109.72 notice that uh, on purpose i positioned my take profit order slightly below the zero fibonacci level uh, because in many cases the price action will approach the area but will not hit 
the exact level so i have something like a habit to put my take profit order something like one pip away uh one pip before the actual target uh also when we look at the levels on the chart we will see that the concentration of most of the tops is like uh, exactly at 109.72 we have some tops above but also we have some tops below that level so we should conform to these two notice that many candles closed on the same level over here but it's below uh, the zero fibonacci level while the top of the trend is located somewhere over here or maybe if we if we take that this is the top of the trend because this is the area of concentration of tops of the upper candle bodies and when we adjust the Fibonacci levels like this maybe we will even have a better interaction with the 61.8 level on the chart well the price even shoots up unfortunately we're out but the best thing is that we got whatever we needed from this trade so let's do some calculation now and not get angry about what we're currently missing because it is nothing special nothing special compared to what we already did so i entered the market at 109.58 and i stayed into the trade until 109.72 so this is like 14 pips profit from this trade which is 0. 14 notice that 14 pips on the japanese yen based forex pair the pips are located uh, after the second digit and not after the fourth digit as with the other pair so 14 pips at the japanese yen is uh, 0 0.14 from the exchange rate of the pair so when we divide 0 0.14 by the entry price at 109.58 we get a result of 0 0.00127760 and when we multiply this number by 100 we get our percentage profit from this trade which is 0.13% approximately a very nice profit having in mind that the trade took only one hour very good trade in general so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexgold.com looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then i wish you happy and safe trading